The first week of spring practice is in the books. I'm Ina Lazarev here with ASU redshirt safety Marcus Ball. Marcus, I know that you've been limited in these sessions, but how do you feel like it's been for you so far? Oh, it's been, it's been great. You know, obviously, I guess, like you just said, I've been limited. Um, and, but, uh, you know, our team is, is looking great this year. Uh, we're going to have a great team. You know, I've been limited to hitting. I can do I mean, absolutely everything besides hit. You know, kind of be pointless to you know, just injure yourself in spring. Um, but, you know, besides the hitting, I've been great, getting great work and footwork and everything, so it's been good. How did you have to change your approach knowing that you wouldn't be full contact in the spring? Um, you know, just mentally, um, you have to change your approach. Um, you know, obviously physically you have to change your approach, but, um, you know, it, it's mentally, you know, you just have to, you know, play it smart. Um, obviously that's why I'm wearing the green jersey. It's not only for, um, you know, me, but it's not only for my teammates to know I'm, um, you know, I'm hurt, but for me, because sometimes, you know, I feel fine and 100% and fine, I feel like, um, but it's for me to, you know, get reminded. But, um, you know, just, just, you know, some ways to, you know, get better while I'm in a green jersey, while I'm kind of limited. You know, it's just extra film, just doing the extra little things. You know, that's just how you get better. You have been able to observe quite a bit. Who would you say is one player on offense and one player on defense that stood out to you so far just within the three practices? Um, definitely, um, you know, the, my free safety, Demarius Randall. Um, he, he's taken a different role um, this year, uh, becoming, uh, you know, a great leader. Um, you know, obviously, out in Darby um, and guys like him out in Darby, um, you know, these guys like Sip and guys, the older guys, Aussie, um, we're, we're leaders and, and we're vocal out there. Um, but I like, I definitely like to see that the mayor is, is stepping up and, and, you know, playing a different role, um, you know, becoming more of a vocal leader. Um, and his worth ethic, um, you know, he's, he's, you know, like I said, like we, we like to say all the time, he's going for Heisman. Uh, we all are. And, and, and that's just how his worth ethic has been. Um, so, you know, that's just a player um, that, that, you know, I've bonded with since day one. And, and I like I like to see um, him, you know, taking a different uh, approach to his game. Last fall camp, you started on a very high note, then suffering the collarbone injury all during your true freshman year. How hard has it been going through an emotional roller coaster? Uh, it it, it uh, as a freshman, you know, coming in here 18 years old, and you know, having the opportunity that I've had um, coming coming in and, and you know, being being that guy. I um, mean, then getting injured, injured, you know, and it's my first injury ever um, that I had to deal with in my life. You, as, as an 18 year old guy, you, you think everything is, is done. You, you kind of get dramatic. And, and, but um, honestly, um, I can say this, you know, every time someone asks me, it's been a blessing to, you know, sit back, observe, take everything in, um, you know, figure out how to practice, you know, 100%. Um, just, just you know, kind of f figuring out veteran moves, um, you know, how to practice, what the coach is looking for. You get to learn off others. Um, you know, pe a lot of people like to look at, you know, being injured. Um, you know, that people don't get better when they're injured. Um, but, but I've, you know, honestly, I've got better. You know, I put film in, I put film work in. Um, you know, everything that I can do um, that you know doesn't conflict with my injury, I do it. So, um, I honestly can say I've, I've got better, and it's been a blessing. It is the first time that you faced adversity of this kind. What have you learned about yourself? Um, some things, some things that I've, I've learned about myself. Um, you know, I, I'd say, um, you know, just, you know, being a safety, um, you have to be a smart guy. Um, and you know, some things that, you know, after I got hurt, um, never, never, never was toughness a question for me. I've, I've always been a tough guy. Um, but something that, I, that I've learned was, you know, through adversity, you know, tough people come out of tough times. But, you know, through adversity, um, like I said, being an 18-year-old guy, um, you, you think that it's the end of the world. Um, so, so, you know, I, I, at first, you know, I was kind of, you know, sad about the situation, harping on it, um, and, and, and kind of, you know, took the backseat and, and wasn't, you know, getting better. Um, so I, I've learned how to work, you know, through whatever the circumstance may be. Um, you know, adversity hits. Um, you know, you just gotta make the great. Uh, you gotta make the great. You know, out of the Sitting out all of last season, what were you able to take away and learn that you can apply that will benefit you in 2004, 2014? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, some things that that I've learned um, just through watching, you know, the whole season, um, traveling um, with the guys every game. Uh, some things that I've learned is, um, you know. 
I got to travel every game, which was a blessing. And Coach Gamley let me travel. And uh, a big part of going out you know, every Saturday and playing is preparation. Um, you know, getting getting prepared, uh, and, and I've learned how to get prepared. You know, and which is you know, like I said, it's a blessing to be able to you know understand and focus on how to get prepared, but not be playing. Um, is definitely going to help me out this season because you know I've, I've been there and done that. I haven't played, but you know, being able to you know understand you know where I'll be on the road and, and how to prepare myself um, has definitely is definitely I think is going to help me out. Um, another thing I, I'd say. It's, it's just, you know, you know being, being a smart guy um, out there and, and, you know, having the role that I have now, I have to be more vocal and I have to be a leader for younger guys. So, um, you know, just, just that role um, is, is going to help me out a lot for 2014. There is a lot of competition at the boundary safety position. Do you feel any more pressure for fall camp seeing as you're limited in the spring? Oh, no. Um, you know, my, my, my competition is, is not with anyone on my team. You know, we have awesome, awesome, you know, we have awesome, you know, boundary safeties and free safeties. Um, those are all my guys. You know, we eat together. Uh, you know, we do everything together. Um, so as far as competition, that's, that's no competition. Uh, it, it's great to have, you know, great players all across the board because, you know, essentially you get better work um, that way. Um, so, so I commend all my players and commend every, everybody, you know, to, to be great and want that starting spot. Um, but, you know, my competition is, is, you know, who's, I mean, I don't know who it is, but it, it's the greatest, the greatest, the greatest boundary safety out there is my competition. I'm, I'm trying to just be the best guy I can be. What are your goals for yourself and your team during the rest of spring ball? Um, you know, like, like I like, I like to tell Demarius and I like to tell my guys, um, you know, you have to have reasonable, reason, reasonable um, goals. But, you know, they have to be, you know, high goals. I'm a high expectation guy. Um, so I, I like to tell everybody, you know, I want to go for Heisman, you know, Pro World uh, Award. Um, and that's just something I want to do. I want to be the best guy out there. Um, but uh, from, from, you know, a team goal, we want to win a national championship, uh, a Rose Bowl championship, a national championship. And, and it's, you know, no, no, you know, it's not lower than that. That's, that's our expectation. All right. Expectations are not low around here. Keep it at devilsdigest.com for all your latest. For Mar Marcus Ball, I'm Ina Lazarev. Keep it right here.